new at 5:30. The doors just open to the Convocation Center as JMU basketball fans plan to pack the combo for tonight's season opener. The Dukes taking on in-state rival Virginia in tonight's game, just part of a long day on campus and also a long day for our sports director, David Guzman. He joins us live at the Convocation Center, David. Yeah, John, a very long day indeed. The pep band rocking as the doors, as you said, just opened. Fans are filing in. Speaking of fans, here are some dedicated fans right here. They are pumped and they got front row seats to tonight's matchup against UVA that's set to tip off at 7 o'clock. Now this court has already seen some action today with the women playing a thrilling game against 23rd ranked UCLA to start the year. The big unknown was how this experienced Dukes team would stack up against a nationally ranked opponent. Well the Bruins taking a 12 point lead into the locker room with this buzzer beater by Kari Cover. JMU did not give up in this game closing the gap. This two point jumper by Toya Jiggets tying the game up at 72. The game would go into overtime tied at 75. The Dukes prevailing to remain unbeaten all time against UCLA improving to 4-0 against the Bruins with a 91 to 87 victory. You know playing here at the Convocation Center a one o'clock game and 2,800 people here. Uh, that's phenomenal. That just shows you, you know, the faithful and how great we have it here at James Madison and the following. You know, I, I would love to say it was the X's and O's, and I came out and drew up these uh, wonderful plays, but it was the demeanor and uh, the, the will to go out there and be ourselves. Now, with the win, the Dukes earning just its 10th victory over a ranked opponent in program history. It's also the fourth here at the Convo. What a great first course to the doubleheader. Now, if you are planning to come to the game and haven't left yet, yeah, you might want to think about doing just that. JMU urging fans to take extra time to get to the Convo. Parking lots expected to be at capacity. And if you're driving tonight and not headed to the game, well, you should avoid University Boulevard. There's a lot going on, a lot of traffic as fans will be heading in and also heading out of the convo. Now coming up at six, why Matt Brady is calling tonight's game the biggest as he enters his seventh season here at JMU. But first, an update on the traffic situation as tip-off approaches. We continue our team coverage with Alexis Hatfield. Alexis.